Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Carl and you're locked into the USG Knowledge Hub. Today's video is going to be talking about how you would deal with a conductor in the back of a socket outlet that is too short. So that may be when you've come to inspect the socket or if you're changing a socket yourself and you pull it down, it's too tight. So we're gonna have a quick look. Um, we've already got this one made up in the workshop. Um, so we've designed it like this just for this video. So I'm gonna talk you through some of the basic steps you can take and what you can adapt to this just to make your life easier and extend those cables, okay? So if you follow me this way, and basically um, what we're going to be looking at here is like I've just mentioned, so the socket front itself, so the face plate, when you've come to inspect it, that's as far as you can get it. So if we look inside, the neutral conductor in this case seems to be quite short. So that could be down to the person who installed it previous has just basically cut those conductors um, just too short. So as opposed to the line conductor there that has plenty of length on it, so that ideally would allow us to put the socket front forward, but in this case, it's a bit too tight. So that might give you problems when trying to push that back up and as you can see it takes a bit of pressure to get that back up which is obviously not great and obviously when you come to inspect it you can't so what we need to look at today is how we're going to get past this and what we can use to make sure um, that that relieves the pressure on the cables and obviously makes for a better job okay so today's equipment and materials so what we're going to be looking using is obviously a suitable screwdriver so we've just got a flat head screwdriver here that's suitable for the terminations in that socket we've got some side cutters we've got some twin earth or 20 cpc cable and it's very important that you put the same size uh, cross-sectional area conductor in with the circuit that you're working on so in this case we're working with 2.5 mil so this is a 2.5 mil cable here which is going to be the same as what's already installed obviously because we're cutting we're going to put some safety glasses on but the big change for today and the good thing that we're going to be using rather than using something like a through crimp we're actually going to be using some ideal um push connectors so basically if we have a look in here there's a a, a different set of connections connectors inside there and basically the ones that we're going to use today are these ones okay so these connectors here work very much the same as any of the others in the box and they're all push fit so there's actually no screw terminations on there so the cable goes in locks in and it's nice and secure so for this type of job that we're doing today these connections are going to be great because it allows us to put one cable in one end and bring the other cable out the other side Whereas these type of connections, for example, if we use that, that's going to take up a bit more room in the box and it's not exactly ideal for the situation that we've got. It's not to say you can't use them, it's just these are purpose made for this type of situation. Okay, so bob those down there, so we're going to need two. And these are, make sure when you are using the connections that you are using some that are rated to the correct load for this installation. So obviously on this one here, they are rated at 32 amps. Okay, so they're going to be they're going to be absolutely fine for our ring final circuit or if it was a 20 amp radial or anything like that so we're going to use these two connections i'm going to strip this socket front off and then we're going to show you how we're going to adapt that wiring in the back okay so i've just taken the live conductors out at this moment in time just left them cpcs intact but as you can see the line conductor is is quite long it's 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 good because obviously it gives us that amount of length there to allow for us to if that was inside there enough scope to be able to check the terminations and work a, a lot easier as well because last thing you want to do is be restricted in the space that you're working in and obviously have to battle the cables inside the back box so what we're going to do here and obviously you can see the neutrals barely even get there okay so what we're going to look at doing is just extend these cables and what we're going to need to do is strip the twin and earth that we've got at the back of us what we've previously shown you and we're going to make sure that we add some of this 2.5 mil and just extend these cables so we've got enough to join in there okay so we'll head back we'll strip that twin earth back and then we'll come back to this point and we'll show you how we're going to adapt that okay so you've got your twin and earth here our twin and cpc and basically what you're going to do is you're just going to strip this back so obviously we're just stripping this all the way back here and the idea behind it is we want to take out 
this neutral conductor. And all we're going to do is just lay it out there. Obviously, before we cut in, make sure you've got your safety glasses on. Bob those on. And then what we want to do is just snip that out, like so. And this excess here is good for the scrap pile. Okay. So, now you've got your piece of neutral cable there. What you want to do is obviously look at the connections inside this. So if we look at it from this point of view, so you've got a test point there and you've got the point in which the cable is going to go into. So that conductor there is going to go into that point there. And as you can see, it goes so far, but this, this middle section here is where the actual conductor itself is going to go. So what you want to try and achieve is just measure that like so and you want to strip off roughly that much, okay? So if we go ahead and just strip that back, like so. And then when we pop that into that connection, um, and bear in mind, once this is in, this is going to be maintenance free as well, because it's not a screw down connection, once this is in, it's gonna provide a nice solid connection, a bit like a through crimp, something like that, but it's just a lot easier and a lot quicker to do. So basically just pop that into the port there, like so, and push that in all the way down, and as you can see, it's gone all the way in. To remove these, all you need to do is give it a wiggle and it pulls out, okay? So, just to show you that again, to pop these in, all you're going to do is just push it in and watch for the copper conductor which goes all the way to the end. That there is a nice, secure, solid connection, okay? So what you want to do, once you pop that in, is just leave a bit of excess and just chop that out because you can adjust this now when we get to the socket and then all you're going to do is repeat the same process again so just bob that up marry it up to the middle point there and then literally just cut that back so you've got that piece of conductor there get your connection point and then just marry that in there and as you can see, when you push it through, that copper conductor goes all the way through. So now that is nice and secure. So same again, just chop that off. And then you have your two bits of wire. And then technically, when you chop these back, they're the points in which are going to go into your socket. Okay, so we'll head back to the socket now and we'll look at how we're going to terminate those short cables into the opposite sides and re-terminate that socket. We've come back to the socket now. Um, basically, we've got our neutral conductors like we've discussed previous. They're a bit too short. So what we're going to do, just bob these to one side. And we're just going to look at tidying these connections up. So basically, all you want to do is make sure these are nice and straight because what you don't want to do is be putting these conductors basically going into these connections here on a bend. You want them nice and straight as they go into... The connector itself so i'm going to chop these off roughly the same just like so then all we're going to do again is measure that up as we've previous done previously done and roughly it's going to be around that much okay so remember because you're working inside the back box it's going to be quite difficult in some situations for you to get get on there and get a good connection so just take your time and then work your way through. So that's one. You can revisit it on there or you can just put them side by side and roughly mark off where you're going to cut, like so. Strip those back and then make sure they're roughly the same. So that one just needs a little bit more off. Like I say, you are, you are quite restricted in the back, um, but hopefully by doing this, it's gonna make a massive difference and allow us to just have that bit more flexibility. So, same as we did before, all you're going to do is you're gonna put these connections in, make sure you put them in the right port. I'm just gonna push them in like so, and you're gonna wait for that copper to go through, which it does, okay? So once those two are in, like so, all you're gonna do is give it a nice little tug that's nice and secure now. So that's one done, okay? I'm gonna repeat the process again. Put that one in, give it a push, and the copper conductor comes through. So there we go. Give them a nice little tug, 
they're nice and secure now. So now you've got those cables in there, the next thing that you want to do is now move those cables a bit, a bit like you've done with the line conductors and just redress them in the back of the back box just so we can now re-terminate them. So all you're going to do is just position these back. And like I say, they fit nicely into the, the back of the socket. And same with the other one. Right, so just put a nice bend on them because what you want to try and achieve is just that little bit of extra wiggle room just so those cables are not under any stress. Okay, so what we'll go and do is we'll re-terminate these, both the line conductors and the neutrals, redress them like we've done in previous videos and just see how we get on. We're just going to put these in the socket like so. So remember when you are tightening them up, just make sure you've got them pushed all the way in and just tighten them up like so. And then the same with these ones now. All we're going to do now is just trim these back using the side cutters. If you've watched previous videos, you can have a look on how we cut these back. So a good tip is just obviously to hold them together and give a nice clean cut. And then what you want to do, if you're cutting these and going singles, if you marry them up to the center point there and to the end there, that should give us roughly the right amount of copper to go so same again so just that central point there marry them up there to the edge of the tool there on the first point cut them back like so and once we've got those bob those in the back and put a little bend on them very much the same as the live ones because what you want to do is try and get these conductors to terminate straight in the back so Bob those into the catch point there. And as you can see, there you go nicely all the way in. And just keep those pushed down. So once those are pushed in place, keep your finger on top. Then all you want to do is just tighten those up nice and steady. So those connections there are now going to go and sit in the back there. Then all you're going to want to do is just push that back on and as you can see that gives you a lot better better fitting socket there and obviously when it comes to inspection you can pull those forward and it's much better so obviously because we've just extended these and we need to make sure all the connections are tight now once we've pushed them back you just want to go over all connections so just give each one a nice nip up Like so, and then once you're happy, just give them a little tug test. Make sure all the connections are nice and tight. Push that back, like so. Pop your screws in, and the jobs are good done. There you have it, guys. So thanks for tuning in again. I'd like I say, if you've enjoyed the video and you like the content, please like and subscribe. You can also comment below on the video itself or if there's any other content you'd like to see and like i say uh, most of all importantly i hope you've enjoyed the video we'll see you again soon take care bye bye